What's up guys, David here once again for the weekly show. This is where we talk about car stuff and other fun stuff too. Okay, so let's talk about this huge feat of engineering that just happened. Tesla out of California has broken the zero to 60 production car record with an electric car and gasoline engine. So it's not like one of those things where you're like, oh yeah, they broke the electric car record, duh, there's not many of those, but no, they, they beat the gas ones too. And what's amazing about that is that the car weighs over 4,800 pounds. Yes, it has all wheel drive, but weight is still a factor. The car went zero to 60 in 2.2 seconds. The only car I've ever been in that's gone like 1.9 seconds was when I rode with Ken Block himself in his rally car that was fully gutted. That was fully gutted, had perfect aero and so on and so forth. And yet this production car that weighs almost 5,000 pounds just did it in 2.2. That's amazing. However, if you account for later down the road, the gas engines always pass the Tesla. Tesla is a perfect car for you if you wanna be like an eighth mile king. Big three, the LaFerrari, the P1, and the 918 all pass the Tesla right after that zero to 60 mark. But still, who cares? A car that's literally one tenth of the price of those hypercars can do that zero to 60. And if you're just being a hoon from light to light, the Tesla's gonna win. And that's just amazing to me, and I want to congratulate Tesla on such an awesome feat. Zero to 60 times, as a lot of people know on my channel, I don't really care about that much, but as an engineering technical feat of traction and power and weight, I think that's amazing. Also, let's talk about our little recap. We didn't really have a weekly show last week, so let's talk about this week. We had our $500 Craigslist Challenge Series that just finished up. Tomorrow is gonna be a vlog and behind the scenes of the entire thing and if it's worth doing yourself. Today's Q&A is actually sponsored by dollarshaveclub.com slash blue. If you don't already know, dollarshaveclub.com delivers high quality razors right to your door. And if you go to dollarshaveclub.com slash blue and click the link in the description, you'll get a one month free trial for any razor for just a buck. You get to pick out what kind of blades you want. Personally, I like the executive razor myself. And it's not just the blades, there's body cleanser, body bar, shampoo, conditioner, shave butter, everything you ever need. So what you're waiting for, go to dollarshaveclub.com slash blue or click the link in the description and get a one month free trial. Any razor, free shipping, and cancel anytime. Seriously, nothing to lose and it's only a buck. If you weren't in the YouTube industry right now, where would you be? I personally would probably be either one in Hollywood slash working in Hollywood in Atlanta, working on productions and things of that nature. That's what my degree was in, was in cinema television. Or I would probably be in music. I really love the music industry and that's probably what I would try to get my foot in the door in and that's what I'd be passionate about. Christian asks, any plans to come up to Boston again? Yes, this year. So we're gonna have the annual Boston subscriber meet once again this year. It's being organized as we speak by Eli of Ignition Tube, and it's gonna be all the YouTubers that came the last two times. I wasn't there last year, but I will come this year. I'm gonna go to one of the two days. It'll be the second day. So keep your eye out. It's gonna be Memorial Day weekend. What has been the biggest challenge of adjusting to Georgia and what's some advice you can give to an upcoming YouTuber? So probably the hardest thing about moving anywhere out of state is you're away from everyone. You're away from your family. You're away from your friends you've had for possibly 20 years. You're away from the car culture that you know and you're going to a different one. You're trying to find connections for more work. You're trying to know more people. You're trying to get to know more people to become friends and have personal bonds with people. And you come to realize, wow, like starting from scratch is really hard and I forgot. I lived in North Carolina for three years as a child and then Virginia for most of my life and then I moved here when I was 25. That very abrupt change in geography and everything was way harder than I expected. But was it worth it? 100%. Why do you think Hondas get so much hate and what is your opinion on them? I personally love Hondas, if you couldn't tell. I've done a lot of Honda reviews. I actually have a Honda S2000 review coming out in like maybe two, three weeks. But along with that, I think Hondas get a lot of hate because one, the crowd, every single car scene or car culture or brand like brand loyalists have those people that make everybody else look bad and hondas i would say is a little bit bigger hondas are associated with young kids a lot and they're also associated with being really cheap to build but that comes at a cost where a lot of people think slopping on a really loud obnoxious muffler makes their car faster and then they talk trash because they don't know any better because they're young 
And that's a lot of the times the truth, but there are stupid fast Hondas out there. I mean, you have people like Speed Factory going seven seconds and a quarter mile, but I think they get the hate because of their fierce brand loyalty. And a lot of the times, I'm gonna be honest with you, when I go to Honda meets, a lot of people there think Hondas are the only great brand in the world and everything else sucks. But that's also every other brand that you go to. So there you go. Phoenix asks, why don't you come to Texas? I read that as a like, dude, why, why are you missing out on us? What are you doing? But the truth is, is that I haven't gone to Texas yet just because just of time and planning. Because almost every time I go to Texas, say I want to go to TX2K, I got to go to Import Alliance instead, which is in Atlanta. It's the same date. Or if I want to go to DFW, I have friends out there. I have to plan that and just haven't been able to plan it yet because when they're free, I'm free here and so on and so forth. So it's nothing personal against Texas, I just haven't gone yet because of planning and scheduling issues. What does your girlfriend think about the fact you're an automotive YouTuber? She sees it as my love and my passion and my job. And that's it. That's all you want though. Joseph asks, what old American car would you rest in modern daily drive? I personally would try to build something like an Eleanor or something like that, or a 68 Camaro. Those are like my two favorite muscle cars like ever when it comes to the old days anyway. Shelby Cobra's up there too. I'd love to have a Shelby Cobra. All right guys, I hope you all enjoyed this weekly show. Make sure if you haven't hit that subscribe button already to go ahead and do that and I will see you guys next time and take it easy. Have a fantastic day, woo!